Good day welcome back to our YouTube channel, it's me again Teacher Yang. Before we start our discussion, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. For today's lesson let's talk about Unit 3, South, Central and West Asian Music. Lesson 1, Music of India for Quarter 3. Objectives. Explain the distinguishing characteristics of representative Central, South Asian and West countries' music in relation to the culture of the area. Perform using available instruments from Central Asia, South Asia and West countries alone and slash or with others. Improvise simple rhythmic slash harmonic accompaniments to music from selected Central, South and West Asian countries. Explore ways of producing sounds on a variety of sources that would simulate instruments being studied. Let's go to India. Capital, New Delhi. Largest city, Mumbai. Official language, Hindi. Demonym, Indian. Currency, Indian rupee, INR. Religion, Hinduism, 79%. India is the largest country in South Asia. Its music is as vast as its geographic location. And as large as its demographic population. The music of India reflects different aspects of Asian culture through its timbre, rhythm, melody, texture, form, and style. Vocal Music India's classical music tradition, includes Carnatic and Hindustani music which have developed over many centuries. Music of India also includes several types of folk and popular music. One aspect of vocal music uses melismatic singing with nasal vocal quality. As compared to the Philippine music which uses melismatic singing only in chanting epics and the Pagean. Singing based on a set of pitches was popular even from the Vedic times. The Samagana style of singing developed into a strong and diverse tradition over several centuries. Becoming an established part of contemporary traditions in India. The hymns in Samaveda, a sacred text, were sung as Samagana and not chanted. Samaveda is the third of the four Vedas of Hinduism but ranks next to Rig Veda, Rigveda, in terms of its sanctity and liturgical importance. Rig Veda is also sung in the Samagana traditional singing style. Because of its liturgical importance, Rig Veda is counted as first among the four canonical sacred texts of Hinduism known as Vedas. Rig Veda is an ancient Indian sacred collection of Vedic Sanskrit hymns. Some of its verses are still recited as Hindu prayers at religious functions and other occasions. Characteristics of Traditional Music from India 1. Carnatic Music Refers to music from South India. Directed to a Hindu god, which is why it is called temple music. Unlike Hindustani music, Carnatic music is unified where schools are based on the same ragas. Same solo instruments, Veena, flute, violin, and the same rhythm instrument, Mridanjam and Gatam. Music pieces are mainly set for the voice and with lyrics. Compositions called Kriti are devotional songs. 2. Hindustani music Goes back to Vedic period times around 1000 BC. Further developed in the 13th and 14th centuries AD with Persian influences and from existing religious and folk music predominantly found in the northern and central regions. Influenced by ancient Hindu musical traditions, historical Vedic religion slash Vedic philosophy, native Indian sounds and enriched by the Persian performance practices of the Mughal era. Nasal singing is observed in their vocal music. In North India, the most common style of singing is called kyul, a word which means imagination. Instrumental music there are many musical instruments in India. Some instruments are used primarily in North Indian music, Hindustani Sanjeet. While many other instruments are used in South Indian music, Carnatic Sanjeet. Instrumental music is often similar to vocal music but sometimes they have distinctive instrumental styles. There are five known traditional system for classification of instruments. Classification of musical instruments from India. Gaon described as a non-membranous percussive instrument but with solid resonators. It is one of the oldest class of instrument in India. It may also be a melodic instrument or instruments to keep tall. Gatam is nothing more than a large clay pot. 
It is very commonly played in South Indian classical performances. There are two actions of resonance. The primary one is the ringing of the pot caused by striking. A very low resonance is also produced by the cavity. This pitch is raised or lowered by opening or closing the hole with the stomach. Manjira, Manjira, is a traditional percussion instrument of Bharata India. In its simplest form, it is a pair of small hand cymbals. It is also known as Manjira, Tal, Jalra, Kartal, or Kartal. Kartal are a pair of wooden blocks or frames with small metal jingles mounted in them. They are simply beaten together to provide a rhythmic support to bhajans, curtain, folk and other light music. The term cartel is also applied to wooden claves. Nout, aka nut, is a small pot used in Kashmir as a percussion instrument. It may be thought of as a North Indian gatam. Avanad, described as a membranous percussive instrument. This class of instruments typically comprise the drums. Daf, dap, is a large Persian frame drum used in popular and classical music. The frame is usually made of hardwood with many metal ringlets attached, and the membrane is usually goat skin. A man and a woman playing a daf instrument. Tabla, or tablu, tabla, is a membranophone percussion instrument, similar to Bongo's Afro-Cuban slash Latin American drum, which is often used in Hindustani classical music. It is used in Indian folk music and is a part of Hindustani music art. Bongos. The instrument consists of a pair of hand drums of contrasting sizes and timbers. It appears similar to their Afro-Cuban slash Latin American drum-based relatives. The right hand drum is called a tabla and the left hand drum is called a daga or baya. It is claimed that the term tabla is derived from an Arabic word, tablu, which simply means drum. The dal is a double-sided barrel drum played mostly as an accompanying instrument in regional music forms. In Kwayla music, the term dal is used to describe a similar, but smaller drum used with the smaller tabla, as a replacement for the left-hand tabla drum. The dal is played using two wooden sticks, usually made out of bamboo and cane wood. The stick used to play the bass side of the instrument, known as the daga in Punjabi, is thick, roughly about 10 mm in diameter, and is bent in a quarter circular arc on the end that strikes the instrument. The other stick, known as tilai, is much thinner and flexible and used to play the higher note end of the instrument. Someone who plays the doll is known as tholai special expression of face and frequent rotation of whole body is associated with a particular tholai to perform a realistic performance. MRI Danjam is a barrel-shaped double-ended drum, the right head being smaller than the left. It is played with both hands. It is the primary rhythmic accompaniment in a Carnatic music and Nawa music ensemble. The word Mridanjam is Sandhi or union of the two Sanskrit words Merda, clay or earth, and Anga, body. As early Mridanjam were made of hardened clay. Sushir also known as blown air. It is characterized by the use of air to excite the various resonators. The Bansurai is a transverse flute of India made from a single hollow shaft of bamboo with six or seven finger holes. An ancient musical instrument associated with cowherds and the pastoral tradition. It is intimately linked to the love story of Krishna and Radha and is also depicted in Buddhist paintings from around 100 CE. The word Bansurai originates in the Sanskrit bans bamboo plus sur melody. There are two varieties of Bansurai, transverse, and fipple. The fipple flute is usually played in folk music and is held at the lips like a whistle. Because it enables superior control variations and embellishments, the transverse variety is preferred in Indian classical music. The shane, 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 or mangal vadia, is a double reed oboe, common in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Iran, made out of wood, with a metal flare bell at the end. Its sound is thought to create and maintain a sense of auspiciousness and sanctity and, as a result, is widely used during marriages, processions, and in temples although it is also played in concerts. Shanae is similar to South India's Nadaswaram. This tubular instrument gradually broadens towards the lower end. It usually has between six and nine holes. It employs one set of quadruple reeds, making it a quadruple reed woodwind. 
By controlling the breath, various tunes can be played on it. Shanka is a conch shell which is of ritual and religious importance in both Hinduism and Buddhism. The Shanka is the shell of a species of large predatory sea snail, Turbinella pyrum, which lives in the Indian Ocean. Shanka is a conch shell. This instrument has a strong association with the Hindu religion. It is said that when it is blown, it announces the victory of good over evil. This instrument has limited musical applications. The Serpati, also called Swarpethi, Swarpeti, Swarpati, Serpati, Serpeti, Shruti Box or Shruti Box, is an Indian drone instrument. It is a small box whose only function is to provide the drone. There are two, basic forms, one is manual and the other is electronic. 4. Tat referred to as Veena during the old civilization. Instruments in this class are plucked, stringed instruments. Sitar is a plucked stringed instrument used mainly in Hindustani music and Indian classical music. A sitar can have 18, 19 or 20 strings. Six or seven of these are played strings which run over curved, raised frets. And the remainder are sympathetic strings, tarp, also known as tarif or tarif dar which run underneath the frets and resonate in sympathy with the played strings. The instrument is believed to have been derived from the veena, an ancient Indian instrument, which was modified by a Mughal court musician to conform with the tastes of his Persian patrons and named after a Persian instrument called the setter, meaning three strings. Ektara, literally one string, also called Ictar Ektar, Yaktaro Gopi Chand is a one-string instrument most often used in traditional music from Bangladesh, India, Egypt, and Pakistan. The Chitravina, also known as Chitravina Chitravina, Chitravina Hanumad Veena, or Mahanataka Veena, is a 20 or 21-string fretless lute in Carnatic music. Around the late 1800s and early 1900s, it started to be known by another name. Gotavadiyam, often misspelled as Gaudavadiyam, Gaudavadhyam, Kaudavadiyam etc. According to ancient classification of Indian stringed instruments, Gaudavadiyam is also one type of Veena. Though both of them have resemblance, Gaudavadiyam, Chitra Veena, is unfretted. Whereas Veena is fretted. Veena has got only seven strings. Whereas Gaudavadiyam has nine main strings and twelve sympathetic strings. It is more difficult to gain mastery over this instrument, yet capable of bringing out finer nuances if played by expert hands. Veena is a classical Hindu lute belonging to the family of string musical instruments. It is an ancient musical instrument which is said to have been invented by Narada, one of the seven great rishis, who was also a Veena maestro. The Veena is a plucked string instrument, four feet long, carved and with a hollowed structure made of wood, generally. Jack Wood Rubab, Robab or Rabab is a lute-like musical instrument originating from central Afghanistan. It derives its name from the Arab Rebab which means played with a bow. But in Central Asia the instrument is plucked and is distinctly different in construction. Rabab is a national music instrument of Afghanistan. Vitat described as bowed stringed instruments. This is of the oldest classifications of instruments and yet did not occupy a place in classical Indian music. Until the last few centuries. Srang is a bowed, short neck string instrument from South Asia which is used in Hindustani classical music. It is said to most resemble the sound of the human voice able to imitate vocal ornaments such as gamaks, shakes, and means, sliding movements. Shakara is a bowed stringed musical instrument from Bengal, India used to play Indian folk music. The Shakara is a simple spike fiddle played similarly to the Saranji or Saranga. By sliding fingernails on the strings rather than pressing them to touch the fingerboard dot it has three strings. Two horsehair and one steel. S. Raj, also called the Indian harp, is a string instrument found in two forms throughout the north central and east regions of India. It is a young instrument by Indian terms, being only about 200 years old. The deal ruba is found in the north, where it is used in religious music and light classical songs in the urban areas. S. Raj is a combination between Saringa and Sitar. 
The base of the instrument is like saranga while the neck and strings are like sitar. It gives a sound very much like saranji without being as difficult to play. This instrument is often confused with dilruba. Both have a similar construction and technique. The approach to tuning is somewhat similar to the sitar. The S Raj is popular in the Bengal area of India. Banam is a class of folk fiddles found among the Santal people of Northeast India and Bangladesh. The importance of the banam to the Santals is well represented by the artwork on the instruments. Rhythm plays an important role in Indian music. It is fundamental to the creation of any musical system. Certainly, from a historic standpoint, rhythm existed many centuries ago before the word rag was ever used. Given this historical preeminence, it is not surprising that rhythm occupies an important position in the Indian system of music. Tala, literally meaning clap, variously transliterated as tal, tal, or tala, is a regular, repeating rhythmic phrase, particularly as rendered on a percussive instrument with an ebb and flow of various intonations. Represented as a theka, is the common Indian system of rhythm. Theka, a sequence of drum syllables or ball. In Indian classical music, both Hindustani classical music and Carnatic music use complex rules to create elaborate patterns of rhythm. Tabla, most common instrument for keeping rhythm in Hindustani music. Mridanjam, most common instrument for keeping rhythm in Carnatic music. Also transliterated as Mridang. Let's see how much you have learned. Can you identify the difference of Carnatic from Hindustani music? Can you identify Indian musical instruments? Study the words written in the box. Identify which word fits the description of Carnatic and Hindustani music. That's all, thank you for watching have a nice day.